Are you using Unbound with your Pi-hole server? Would you like to see what's going on with Unbound? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you some commands that will help you do just that. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about six diagnostic commands to use with your Unbound Pi-hole server. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links available. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you want to get notified when new content is uploaded, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. Now here's what we're gonna be talking about in this video, and that's the six diagnostic commands for your unbound slash pihole server. We're gonna go over why you need these commands. We're gonna talk about the required items, We'll go about configuring unbound control, which is the secret sauce to making this all happen. And then we'll go over each of the six commands to give you a little more information than what's going to be available to you from within the Pi-hole GUI. When I first started using unbound in combination with my Pi-hole system, I was kind of not frustrated, but I was a little surprised I wasn't able to get any more information than I was because I was pretty much limited to the Pi-hole GUI. And you know, I guess that's okay for some, but I kind of wanted for troubleshooting or diagnostic purposes to know a little bit more. So it took some digging, and this is specifically targeted at those that are running inbound with Pi-hole. If you're running unbound as a full-blown server, you may already have some of this or may be need to look at this from a different manner. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna first implement something called unbound control. We've got to get it configured. So we'll do sudo space, Unbound control setup. Now it's on my case, it's already done this to a great degree because I've ran through the commands once before, but if it doesn't have the keys you see on the screen, it's going to get those set up. It's going to get the server certificate set up and it's going to do the basics of what has to be done. And all you do is just run the command and it will take care of it. Now, the next step is we will need to go in and add some commands to the unbound comp file. So unbound, unbound.comp. Oh, if I could, oh if I need to spell, I need to specify the editor. Now, when you first go into this file, this is going to be fairly empty. You're going to see a command down here at the bottom that says include, and it's going to reference another subdirectory below the unbound conf directory. And this is where the pi hole configuration gets picked up for unbound. All you need to do is you see these lines from remote dash control colon all the way down to what you see there is that last line. Just cut and paste this in. And I've got this in the video description on YouTube that you can just follow this. That will get you up and running. Now, I would suggest doing a restart. You may not have to, but anytime I make a major change to anything like this, I'll do a pseudo reboot. We'll go ahead and get that done. And then when we come back, we'll start working with the commands. Well, now that we got everything rebooted, I've already logged in to my Raspberry Pi. So we will get started with the commands. Now, the first one we're going to use is going to show you what is in the cache. So we'll do sudo unbound control dump cache. And this is going to be quite a few entries. So if you want to go back in and actually pipe it through more, so you do the split vertical bar and more, then you can kind of page through it a little bit and see what's going on. So if you want to see if there's a specific command not working, then that's going to be a good place to start. Now, if you want to look at the stats for Unbound, but don't want to muck with what's going on, because you may want to look at it where it is at a given point in time, that's really easy to do. So we will do a sudo unbound control space stats, no reset. And that underscore no reset is important because this way it will show you what's going on, but doesn't reset the counter. So if you used to, or know somebody who works with Cisco routers and switches, not resetting the stats is, is a nice thing because it allows you to see how things are progressing at any given point. If Unbound and Pi-hole thinks everything's working right, but you really want that extra bit of assurance that things are doing what they say they are, then we can look at the actual status of unbound separate from Pi-hole. So that's gonna be sudo unbound, if I can spell unbound here, control status. So it shows you your versions, shows you how long it's been up and what the process ID is. And it gives you a very rough command line, but at least it shows you what's going on. 
depending on your configuration of DNS and what special rules you may have put in on what server it may be used for what external domain, you can always check to see what is being consulted. So if there is a problem, you can at least see maybe where it is, if it's your side or if it's on the far end. So at this point, we'll do a sudo unbound control lookup. And at this point, I'll go to an old domain that I have been used for several years. At this point, it shows you that it is looking to 1.0.0.1 and 1.1.1.1. And it's, it gives you the two IPv6 servers, but it says it's not in the cache. So it you know at least gives you an idea of where it's going to be going. Now, if you, depending on how busy your pihole slash unbound server is, if you think a request has not been processed, or if you just want to make sure that nothing's stuck in the queue being worked on, then what we can do is we can actually do a sudo space unbound dash control dump underscore request dot list. So if it was working on anything, it should tell you right here. Now, I've not had this command show me anything yet, but at least it's a valuable command to know if you think something is hung up and it just, you want to make sure that maybe you don't need to reboot on your side. Now, depending on how you've got in your DNS forwarding setup or anything with special rules or configurations going on, knowing where things are set to forward to once they leave your unbound server is going to be a handy thing to know. So if we do sudo unbound control list underscore forwards. So this shows you at this point, it's first going to go to 1.1.1.1. And then if that doesn't pan out, then it's, it's failover is 1.0.0.1. I decided to add this one at the last minute. If you want to see what commands there are beyond what I've shown you today, then you just do a sudo unbound control and just hit enter. And then everything you see here are all commands that you can use. You can even restart unbound by doing the unbound dash control space reload. So you can restart that should restart just that service. Although you might want to check before you, uh, have to go use that one what it's going to do it might force a reboot of of the whole server i've just not had a reason to use it because normally if i have to do a reboot i just reboot the whole box with a pseudo reboot but this shows you you get into all the you can do any sort of zone configuration there's stuff that most of us probably will not need unless we're doing unbound as a dns server for a business or large commercial organization if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.